he got in trouble in turn three. Sliding up the racetrack into the wall. There's contact made. Oh, Brett finally got into the wall. That is Jennifer Joe Cobb once again in the 10. Just yes. coming into turn number three, got sideways, chased it all the way up the racetrack and into the wall. I was watching the the, the accident as it happened live. Brett Butler just dove one down into the turn into turn three on the inside of Jennifer. I don't think she knew he was there. They collided and into the wall Brett went. Brett had such a good run going there. Oh, see a lot of damage to that 47 fuel doctor truck. Certainly the run run of the year for that young man. He had that thing in the top 20. Jennifer's truck was wounded. And uh, I don't think she saw Brett coming. He went for a hole and uh, she closed the door. So two trucks involved in this, our sixth caution of the day. We're going to be trying to get a glimpse of what happened from Todd Bodine's vantage point. Watch the closing speed. I don't know if you can tell from this angle, but Brett's really running a lot faster than Jennifer. They get to the corner. He dies for the bottom and she turns in on him. Yeah, he goes, he's all the way down to the white line. I'm, I think you're exactly right. She did not know he was there. He almost saved it there, and right, right at the very last second, he ran out of racetrack and made some pretty good contact with the outside safer barrier. Second incident that Jennifer Joe Cobb has been involved in. You see that they've done a lot of work to that truck to get it back out on the racetrack, and now more contact with the wall in three and four. And Jennifer Jo Cobb will take the truck back behind the wall. The arriving Auto Parts 250 continues from Kansas Speedway here on Speed.